Welcome to Indie. I'm going to show you how to create invoices using Indie's Invoice Builder. So first thing, you're going to come over to this Invoice tab. You're going to click Create New Invoice, and you can either choose a single invoice or a recurring invoice. We're going to go with the single invoice. Up here, you can add your own business logo. Over here, you can add your invoice number, your reference number, the date you're issuing the invoice, and the date you would like the invoice to be due. Right here, you choose your recipient. And then over here, you can edit your contact details if you want to. Then right here is where you add all of your invoice items. You can also add time tracks if you're a pro user. And right here, you can just click to add a new item if you want to. And from there, it's very easy to add your details. You can put the date, you can put the title of the project or task you were working on. How many of those items? Let's say you did two landing pages, you would just put two. And then the most important part of the invoice is the rate, the amount you charged for that specific task. Each line item gives you an option to add a tax if you would like to. And if for any reason these aren't the headings that you want to use for your invoice, you can change these headings by clicking Edit Headings, where you can change your headings to show the products you sell or the services you sell, or you can create your own custom heading. You can also change your invoice to reflect the amount of hours you worked or the amount of units you're selling. And of course, you can add your own custom heading there. You can also change the rate to reflect a specific price if you want. And once you've changed your headings, you can click here to save that setup for all future invoices. And with every item you add down below, it'll automatically tally up how much the total invoice is worth. And down below, this is optional, but you can add any notes that you would like to let your client know about and also a little personal message to thank them for their business or whatever else you wanna write. You can add discounts if you want to, you can request a deposit, either a flat amount or a percentage of the invoice, and you can even add a late fee to the invoice if your client doesn't pay your invoice on time. Off to the right side of the invoice tool, you can add your currency and your different payment methods. Up here, we have a little section called Style. You click this tab and you can change the color and the text color of your invoice. That way, if your business has a certain branding color scheme, you can just quickly add that to the document so that your invoices always stay on brand. And when you're finished, you can click Preview up at the top so you can see how your client will see your invoice. And when you're finished, you just click Review and Send. After you send the invoice, you can check on your status of the invoice. Right now, the status says Draft because we're still working on the invoice. After you send the invoice, it'll be changed to Sent. The red status means that your client has read your invoice, and the paid status shows that your client has paid the invoice. Now the status tracking will only work as long as you send the documents through Indy's email service. If you choose shareable link, the status tracking won't work. So if you want the status tracking to work, be sure to send your documents through Indy's email service. You can also click on this icon over here to duplicate your invoice, you can export your invoice as a PDF file. You can also mark the invoice as paid in full. You can archive your invoice to keep on hand. And of course, you can delete your invoice. Once you've sent your invoice, you can go back to this main menu for your invoice builder. And this gives you the status of all of your invoices. Down below, the more invoices you make, the more will show up down here. And you can also track all of your income right up here. It'll show you how many invoices you've issued, how many invoices have been paid. You can track the money you've made each day. And you can even break that down into your single invoices and your recurring invoices. And that's it. You're ready to create your first invoice and start getting paid. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other videos to make the most out of your indie experience.